Hi, welcome to another Dolphin Financial Radio Show. My name is Dan Wendell, and I am the owner of Dolphin Financial Group. Today, we're going to be talking about Medicare. How much does Medicare cost? We're going to talk about the details on that, actual dollar amounts. No, it's not free. And we're going to talk about how to pay for it, how to actually go about paying for Medicare. These are questions that people are going to face. So if you're turning 65 or just getting on Medicare and you're saying, oh my goodness, I thought it was free. What is this guy talking about? You're not alone because I'm going to bring in my co-host here. Tony thinks it's free, right? Tony, wouldn't you say Medicare is free? I'm talking about Medicare for God's sakes. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I let you know what we're going to talk about in advance. You go, and this is your show prep is getting silly sounds to add. You don't add any commentary of value, just the little soundboard. Or cuts to Medicare or Social Security. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I think uh, Medicare is, uh, of course, it costs money. There are premiums. And there are deductibles even, right? Just like regular insurance? Well, we're going to talk about it. I am not, well, comment on my background for the viewers. <laughs> now, I got a, I got a green glass for the show. So oh, that's awesome. Drink, you could see that it's actually not a bloody dollar bill that I put on my wall. It's, it's fake. It's a green screen, Tony. Well, it's just it's a it's a somewhat disturbing image, but we have a disturbing topic, which is healthcare. So I get it, and I will say that you've stepped up the level of artistic, the artistic aspect and level of your clip art for your background images. Uh, it's been a little cliche lately, but this one is not. I think the stethoscope. The stethoscope the, is cliche. Like, how many times does a doctor use a stethoscope that you deal with? You know, like for real. Every time. But uh, <laughs> no, uh, but uh, but I like it. I, I think that's that's a, a little more. I It's it's not just a typical clip art. It's uh, I think it's you know, it's not like the hang in there with the little kitty hanging All from right. the tree All limb. Right. I never use that, but <clears throat> you've, so, you've used that. So, Tony, what do you think most people say to me when they turning 65 or going on Medicare? Um, and I, and they, when I say, oh, how much do you think it costs? What do you think their response is when I say, how much do you think? I think they say costs? free. They either believe it's completely free. Medicare doesn't cost anything. Or they might say, I don't know, $130 a month. Uh, that's what I, first I thought, it, I'm just going from my own what I thought. I always thought Medicare was free once I turned 65. Medicare kicks in and my health care is covered. Now, obviously, working with you over the last uh, eight years or so, uh, I've under I've come to understand that Medicare is not free. And then for a while, I thought, oh, it's only about like 138 bucks a month, so that's awesome. You pay a premium; it's really low price. Uh, and now I understand that premium actually goes up, and there are there can be deductibles. I guess we're going to learn about that in this show, but there are definitely costs, and it definitely doesn't cover everything, right? Medicare is not free. You know what's interesting is when the newest clients, not the newest clients, the clients that turn or go on Medicare, you could be on Medicare before 65. So if you have a disability for a couple of years, you'll go on auto, automatically go on Medicare. And Medicare is health insurance. It's not Social Security. It's not Medicaid. Medicaid mm -hmm. is the state. So we're sure. talking federal administered health care through Medicare. And everyone usually gets it at 65 that's the age which doesn't coincide with full retirement age social security but it's interesting when people are delaying social security and they get a bill in the mail from medicare for like four over four hundred dollars i get the phone call what is this <laughs> why am i getting a bill so today we're going to talk about the actual dollar costs of medicare to the end user, to you, listener, who are going on Medicare and you're saying, what? How much? We're talking about original Medicare now. Parts A and B. We're not going to talk about Medicare supplements or Medicare Advantage plans that you see on TV. I think Joe Namath's pitching something. You know, one of the companies. I don't know. We're not going to talk about drug plans. Those are all extra 
We're just talking about basic Medicare. Okay. Tony, part A. All those Here's extras cost. cost as well, though, right? The extras cost, of course. Yeah, and probably um, more. Yeah. The but in Florida, a lot of these extra uh, like Medicare advantages is they don't cost anything and they give you money back to pay for this. Well, first, let's start with part A, part A okay. and part B. So part A, for lack of, you know, just to keep things simple and not go into too much detail, part A you get automatically when you hit 65 or go on Medicare, and that is hospitals. Part A is for the hospital facilities. Hmm. Most people, it is zero cost a lot of times it's called zero cost part a right that's just and people don't and this is what they associate with medicare oh i got medicare for free and most people do so how does that work um it's the hospitals so if you if you have part a medicare part a will cover the hospital bills but it costs zero if you have 40 quarters or credits some people call it credits i call it quarters 40 quarters of work history where you paid medicare taxes you know when you, when you get your w-2 it says some went to social security tax and then there's that medicare social security and medicare they lump them together but there are they are broken out and people are paying into medicare every month it's going to pay for part a so if you don't have 40 quarters, which is a, is 10 years of work, you know, right. 40 you know, quarters, um, if you have 40 quarters worth of taxation that you put into it, then you don't pay from Part A. Mm. Now, what if you don't have 40 quarters? What if you're a stay-at-home dad? You can use your spouse for uh, calculating whether or not you put into the system. So you don't technically have to have worked 10 years to do it. You can have a spouse that has it and you get, you can ride the coattails there. Um, or if you're disabled, you know, certain mm -hmm. disabilities allow you to. So, but let's say you don't, Tony. So the cost, that's why I have 471. If you don't, if you don't have, if you have less than 30, you're paying 471 a month for part A. That just covers wow. hospitals. Wow, but the majority of people, I would assume, are paying nothing. Correct. But you, but you could pay as much as four hundred and seventy-one dollars per month for Part A. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anyone paid for Part A. Some people do. So mm -hmm. who, who, who would like? Let's think about this. Someone that moves into the country and doesn't put ten years worth of work. They have twenty-five credits or quarters they've worked, and they're now turning sixty-five and they want to go on Medicare. They can go on Medicare because they've reached the eligibility age, but they can pay. They'll have to pay four hundred seventy-one just to get Part A. Yeah, that's so a scenario. That's scenario. Some an older person moving into the country. Uh, that's a scenario. Uh, another scenario: someone who is extremely lazy. <laughs> right. Know. Never worked. Never married. Right. Yeah. Lives lives and works Maybe out of their mom's off, basement. Yeah, sponged off their parents until they were sixty five. I notice you say that when you're working at the office, not in your mom's basement. I noticed. You that. know what, Dan? I don't uh, ever work from my parents' house or basement, so you're I don't know why you basement. keep okay. saying that. I yeah. just if I keep saying it, it'll become true. I think that's the new. <laughs> that's twenty twenty one for you. Yeah, okay. that's true. If you have between thirty and thirty nine credit quarters. Mm -hmm. then you pay 259 a month. But for most people, they put in, you know, even when you're young and you're putting in your first job, you're getting your 40 credits. So most people paying zero, okay? Now, part A is just hospital, and there's a $1,484 deductible on top. Oh, so there's a deductible. See, that, that's again where I think most people, and I, when I say most people, I bet 99.9% .9 of people, unless they've worked in Medicare, have some knowledge or listen to the show, have no idea that there are deductibles. I had no idea. I mean, even after I learned that parts of Medicare cost money, then it, much later, I, I overheard you talking to someone once and all of a sudden it's like, wait, there's deductibles with Medicare. So how much was that again for part A? 1484 in 2021. 1400. Right. Yeah. And so the if reason you go to the hospital and you have your part A and it's free, 
you're still on the hook for fourteen hundred dollars. And I think the reason you said twenty twenty one there uh, also to remind our listeners these are this year's costs, and it seems like every year these numbers do go up, don't they? Really? Do they? Why I would the government do that? They, I kind of think <laughs> they do, but but that reminds me. Oh man, I can't afford no Medicare copayments. <laughs> <laughs> copayments. Let's talk about those in a moment. Um, but the deductibles there. So yeah, Part A usually no cost to most people. So the listener is probably saying, "Oh, I don't pay for Part A. I worked right." Right. Part B is what surprises people, and here's the cost for Part B. Right. Minimum $148.50 a month to up to $504.90. That $504.90 is scary per month. That scares me. It shouldn't because I'll give you the, the, the levels of income. So this is based on income. Oh, yeah, that's so, right. So, so as a radio show co-host, I do not need to worry about the Five hundred and four dollars. No. But you as a financial advisor, you're looking at five, six hundred dollars, I'm sure, a month. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, sure. Let's hear those uh, income so, levels. So here's how here's how it works. Oh, by the way, let let's talk I want to go back quick because you mentioned copays and I said I was gonna talk about that. Oh, um yeah. so back to the hospitals. You have the eight a fourteen hundred dollar deductible, fourteen eighty four. You also have copays if you go you have a, a daily cost if you go to the hospital with part a if if you just have part a nothing else and b right you don't have any medicare supplement or medicare advantage which people could do um the first 60 days you don't pay but after 60 days in the hospital 60 to 61 to 90 you're paying 371 dollars a day in the hospital ouch and then after 91 days plus you're paying 742 dollars a day in the hospital even with your medicare yeah. So this is, but if you had some type of supplemental or advantage, it might cover that or. Right. Right. Exactly. So Perhaps. Uh, this is In basic or, yeah, they call this it original is... Medicare. So yep. a lot of times people will get on a Medicare advantage or a supplement that sure. covers the deductible of part a and all these, you know, daily copays and, and limit, you know, but I mean, to be in the hospital for more than 60 days is, that's it's rough it happens though that, especially that with covid you know you be rare you know, uh, covid true that's true mm -hmm. yeah or if you wake up you know you fall down your into your mom's basement as you're going to work and you hit your head and you're in a coma for it mr months. frump and the iron lung i mean you're in that iron lung you're going to be in there a while all right that's, so, a, that's an old weird l yankovic song never mind uh, you lost me there so yep. part b so this is the hospitals for part A. Part B is the doctors and services. Okay. This is what most people use. You know, I'm going to go get a checkup. I'm going to go to a, you know, a lung doctor, an iron lung doctor, as you just reminded <laughs> me. All right. So, <laughs> um, so this, the standard, they call it standard for most people is $148.50. So most people have zero part A, but. Part B is $148.50. Now, when I started with Medicare, oh my goodness, it's got to be 12, 15 years ago, it was less than $100 yep. a month. So now it's up to $148.50. Yeah, last time I heard about it or talked about the actual monthly cost of Part B, it was like $138. So it's gone up $10 mm -hmm. since then. Yeah. yeah, it goes up every year. And yeah. then, but they give you a Social Security increase, like we're going to get a big one in 2022, theoretically. Yeah, uh, you'll see this Part B go up to yeah, usually about the same amount. So you never <laughs> do get the yeah, yeah. They they always work it so uh, if there's a cost of living adjustment to Social Security, oh, that's weird. Part B that everybody has to have at that age goes up the same amount. Hmm. And Part B, <clears throat> now, so you never like see said, that is, money is doctors and services. You know, um, not not the hospital facility, but the doctors mm -hmm. in the facility. It'll cover that, and you pay for it. One hundred forty-eight fifty. There is a deductible in twenty twenty-one. It's two hundred and three dollars for the oh, year. That's so bad. that's pretty low. Yeah. Just go to, to the hospital and you see a doctor and just say hi. That's two hundred bucks right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it only covers eighty percent of your medical bills. So this one hundred forty-eight oh. fifty 
covers 80%. So you're responsible for the remaining 20% of the bill. Yikes. So just because you have Part A for free and Part B for 148.50 doesn't mean you're off the hook. You still got to pay 20% sure. of your services. Medicare approved services. <laughs> wow. But let's talk about how you can get 50490, all right? So this is where um, Irma comes in. You weren't around for Hurricane Irma, but you add an extra A and you have income related monthly adjustment amount. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what my aunt I, I had an aunt Irma, I think, but right. No. She wasn't as expensive as this. No. So um when you go on Medicare, let's say you're turning 65, you get part A and you get it free. Good for you. Mm -hmm. You get part B and you're like I'm paying 148.50 and the government says, "No. Nope. You get an Irma letter." What's this? It happens. What hmm. the government does is they look back two years ago and they say, what was your modified adjusted gross income two years ago? Why don't you do it today? Because we're, that's just what we do. We want to know where you were two years ago. <laughs> because they have that on, they have the documents on file. If right. you're 65, turning 65, you haven't filed taxes yet. They don't know what you're making. So they right. go back two years. <clears throat> and they say, how, how much did you make as modified adjusted gross income? Based on that, they may change your Part B cost. So like I said, it's $148.50 for uh, average, the standard. But if you make, that's, let's just use a single person. It's different for joint. But the single person, if you make 88000 modified adjusted gross income two years ago or less, it's $148.50. Once you get above eighty eight, it starts to creep up. So go 88 to 111 goes to 207, 111 to 130 goes to 297, 138, and so on, all the way up to 500,000. Once you're wow. above 500,000 of modified adjusted gross income, that's when you pay 50490. So wow. most people are not at the 504. Most people are at 14850. Sure. Between there and 200 probably. Right. I get people yeah. all the right, right. Um all the time, people come to me and say, I, I thought I was paying 148.50. I got a letter. And now I'm supposed to pay 297. Uh, it says 148.50 plus another, you know, 140. I don't like that. Why? And then they say, because they're looking at two years ago. And because you made too me, much well, money. I'm retired, though. I'm not making, I'm making $50,000 now. I should be at the lower tax bracket. Why? I say, don't panic, right? You it's going to go back down in a year or two. Yeah. We, we say you can wait and have it go down, or you fill out an Irma ah. letter that says, I retired. My income level is now this. Please take away this extra increase. I'm, I'm not making this anymore. Mm -hmm. And they say, oh, sure, fine. Thanks for telling us. And then they take it off. Ah, okay. That's so. Good. What I do with my clients who, you know, a lot of my that's clients where, are not That's 65. where you come in, right? You help them. I, 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 you that. know, when people turn 65, they get a stack of paper like this with offers. You turn on the TV, and like I said, you got Joe Namath telling you what to do. Sure. For your health insurance. So people get confused. And then they get this letter, scary letter about Irma. And they're like, who's Irma? I thought that was, you know. <laughs> Hurricane. Like you said. I thought Tony's she not. Was, she, she's always been nice to me. Yeah. But now... They're telling me to pay more. Dan, what do I do? They panic and they call me and I say, all right, here's the letter. We fill it out. I send it in, fax it. Boom. They're done with that. Boom. So for most people, they go back down to the 148.50. Now, if you're making, a, you know, if you have income above 88000 as a single person, there's no way around it. Hmm. You're just going to be paying 207 instead of 148. So that's kind of what happens. So the IRMA also applies to part d which is separate part a and b is automatic you know you, you pay for it you free for a usually b you pay 148.50 that doesn't cover drugs so if you get a drug plan you have to pay for it they'll add an increase to the drug cost plan cost based on your income as well ah okay so people are like, well, but that would be part nonsense. d medicare part d covers drugs and prescriptions and <laughs> There's right. a cost for there's premiums for that as well, I assume. 
there are. So, and people get confused with, well, they get scared because they, I heard that if I don't get a part D when I get on Medicare, they're going to find me. I'm going to pay more. Mm -hmm. That's true. And yeah. it's not the Irma. It's not the Irma. That's going to happen based on your income. Part D, you have to get when you, when you're first eligible, because if you don't and you get it later, then they give you the late enrollment penalty, which is something completely separate. So I urge people that are just new to Medicare that are, are interested in just keeping original Medicare, make sure you pick up a Part D, even if you're not on any drugs, pick up a really cheap one for less than 10 bucks a month usually. And this way you check that box and you won't be fined in the future if you get it late. Ah, good point. Medical research we can afford, Medicare we can't. <laughs> so i do get people that say i can't afford medicare but yeah then they say well what's my alternative you know not having insurance so people typically like their employer coverage because their employer pays for it but right. when they retire the employer usually doesn't cover insurance health insurance. right in Some almost in almost here. all cases nowadays that's true the employer doesn't cover your medical insurance or pit kick in anything toward medical after you retire or leave the company. So uh, you've got to rely on Medicare. But in a lot of cases, Medicare is still cheaper than what you were either getting through your company, I know, at least in some cases, or uh, much cheaper than you could just go out and get it on your own before you're 65. That's very expensive. As we've talked about on previous shows, we've done some shows about how much it costs healthcare insurance and healthcare costs. Absolutely. As and, we both know. And I just covered part A and B and that's, like I said, going to cover 80%. So you're responsible for the other 20 and that's where people pick up a Medicare Advantage plan or a Medicare supplement. Yeah. And I'm not going to get into that today, but the supplements can cost you money. Medicare Advantage can cost you money. Depends on what plan you want. Some are, are no cost. Some give you money back. So, but in general, you're looking at a minimum of typically $148.50 just to get the ball rolling with Medicare. That's your wow. baseline. Yeah. So now yeah. the question is, how do you pay for it? Uh, how do you actually pay for it? Sure. Like, who do I send a check to? Like, do I send a check? I mean, what can I pay by credit card? So I want to talk about that. Um, so, but we'll do future shows. I've been doing Medicare for so long that I take it for granted, but some people are like, well, what about Medicare supplements and plan F and part D and plan C? It gets confusing. I'm not going to sit here and talk about that today. I just sure. want to talk about the baseline costs. So now imagine you go on Medicare and your bill is 148.50. What's going to happen? <clears throat> there's four ways to go about paying, five ways to go about paying for this. The first is social security comes automatically out of your social security check so that people don't think about it so if you're on social security you may not even see the bill for social, for medicare because it, your social security check is lower by 148.50 government loves to do that because they don't have to think about it they just take it out of your social security check right most people do that but the problem is well it's not a problem a lot of people are delaying social security until their full retirement age We've done shows on that. Which at the minimum it. right now would probably be 66 in a few 67, months. 67, right. So let's say you're, say you're going to wait till you're 67 to turn on your Social Security. But you, on 65, you go on Medicare. You quit. You, you retire. So you don't have coverage through employer. You're excited to go on Medicare. You're like, okay, um, how do I pay for it? Social Security, and they're not on Social Security. So now what? They send you a bill. And they... they they send you a bill. You're going to get a bill for four hundred and forty-five dollars and fifty cents. What? Why would I get a bill for four forty-five? Because they charge you quarterly, so they charge you uh, three months in advance. This gets people all the time. I thought it was one forty-eight fifty, Dan. You lied. I didn't have an Irma. I heard you. You know, I watch your podcast. I know what an Irma is. I don't right. make that much money. Why are they charging me four hundred and forty-five dollars and fifty cents? It's three times 148.50. Mm. They want you to pay three months in advance. Of course. So the first way to pay is take it directly from Social Security. But if you're not on Social Security, you have to pay. And if you don't pay, Tony, guess what? The 
cut you off. They cut you off. <laughs> Hence the blood all over. That's red paint. Red paint. The government's not doing any of that. Dan! Oh. <laughs> Dan! <laughs> you do want to pay, though. They'll send you the bill. They'll send yeah. you one reminder. Yeah. Then they'll send you the late notice. And then you're done. Wow. So you want to pay. So how do you pay? So you can go online to Medicare.gov, create an online account, and say, pay that way, right? So, some people like to do that. You can go on your bank and have an automatic bill pay sent to the Treasury, right? Just send it to Medicare. And you could say, every quarter, pay this bill. You can also go on Medicare and set it up so they automatically take it from your from your bank account. So you can lo- link your bank account to Medicare.gov gov's website they have a site to do it and have it automatic i I recommend people do automatic because you don't you don't want to get stuck but for a lot of people they do the last one which is mail a check what happens is when you turn 65 and medicare sends you the bill they're going to send you a coupon book and you Uh. can rip the coupon out write the check submit it so that the government says okay here's the paper here's who it is here's the payment and they cut a check, they write out a check every quarter and send it in to the government. That's yeah. how most people, how a lot of people do it, believe, believe it or not. Wow, I'm surprised. And, and, you know, most people have it taken right out of Social Security if they are taking Social Security when they turn 65, as you pointed out, and a lot of people or some mm-hmm. people don't do that. So then they have to use one of the other ways. But I want to clarify, uh, and uh, do you know uh, or this or not? So if they, if you have it taken directly out of Social Security, it is taken out monthly and not yes. quarterly. So you then, then you have the monthly deduction. So they're not going to take out the full quarter out of one social security check because some people might not even get much more than that and that would be their whole check or a lot of that would be a cash flow issue for sure but when you for let's say you're on social security ready and you're excited because in 2022 you're going to get a bump up in your social security check maybe five percent yeah don't we'll know we'll do a show on it when it's announced and then you're expecting your social security check to go up and you're 60 and you just turn 65 all of a sudden your check is down by 140 what I, yeah. I got an eight eight dollar raise, but now I, th- it's so it's a monthly draw yeah. from your Social Security, and <laughs> and you won't unless you look at your statement, which a lot of people don't do. They'll you won't see. Okay, here's how much came with Social Security. Here's this amount subtracted from Medicare. Um, and a lot of people don't. It's one of the line money. item things. Right. So the only way to get it month to pay Medicare monthly is if it's taken directly out of your social security. Otherwise, if you use one of the other methods listed you're here, quarterly. Or listed here, you're paying quarterly. Okay. That's right. That's Just right. wanted to clarify that. So it's a downfall to delaying social security is you have to deal with yeah. a, some M- Medicare payment. But yeah. for most people, they're saving a ton of money compared to Cobra or their, you know, ins- own, own insurance. So Plus, you're like, letting right. your Social Security roll up to its full amount. So if you right. feel you'll have longevity, it still might be the smarter move, but it depends. And like you always say, it depends. And so that's why people need to sit down with you and look. At, you'll do the math and run the reports and say, okay, here's where you're at. Here's where you're at financially. It makes sense because of Medicare and this. And, you know, when you get into start getting into Medicare and Social Security, and there's so many details that people don't know, I bet a lot of people make mistakes that cost them money in retirement. Well, here's a fun one, Tony. Let's, I just told you you're, you might get an IRMA letter based on your income. What if you're 65 and you haven't turned on Social Security and you're writing a check for 148? But if you said, oh, I'd rather just take it from Social Security, let me turn Social Security on, you turn Social Security on. Oh, now I don't have to write a check. Your income just went up. Now you get an Irma letter. Now your social, now your Medicare costs just went up. Yep. So delaying Social Security decre- keeps your income level lower, so you don't pay the higher amount for Medicare. Right. See. You got to use the old toboggan on that one, the noggin <laughs> toboggan right there. I could see the steam coming from the back yeah. of your head. The little hamster's like, I'm what like, did you just what? say? I can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Conclusion. <laughs> Medicare isn't free. Don't think it is. Original Medicare costs money. 
doesn't cover everything, mainly 20% is still on you. So you're still going to have to figure out that. That's another time, another show. But you're still going to pay just to get in the door, right? There's a cover charge for Medicare. Right. Um, it's a huge part of retirement planning. If you're, re- if you're planning retirement, you're meeting with someone and, and going through health care or not talking about health care costs, Medicare, Social Security, if you're, not, you're missing the boat, it's a big part of retirement planning. It's a big part of income planning, timing your Social Security payments, timing your Medicare bills. Very important. People need to take it seriously. But bottom line, Medicare is not free. Oh, man, I can't afford no Medicare co-payments. <laughs> is that Bart Simpson? No. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I don't know. It's, I think, Futurama, something like yeah. that. Sounds like one of my kids is on, on that note. I'm going to bring in. <laughs> I'm going to bring in the boys to go on the show. And as a reminder, I do not work for Medicare, and neither does Tony. All matters discussed in today's show are for informational purposes only. This show is not investment advice. Dan Riddle, nor Dolphin Financial Group are affiliated or endorsed by any government agency. Investment advisory services are offered through Dolphin Wealth Management, Inc., a registered investment advisor in the state of Florida. Insurance products and services are offered through Dolphin Insurance, Inc. Dolphin Wealth Management, Inc. and Dolphin Insurance, Inc. are affiliated companies doing businesses as Dolphin Financial Group. You should talk to someone at Dolphin Financial Group before implementing any of these strategies or ideas.